This is how Kindle Comic Converter does it better. KCC's best features. Alright, so the biggest feature is black level correction. If you, on the left you can see the Kindle Store version. It's a little faded and washed out and it's kind of hard to read. But if you convert it using Kindle Comic Converter, all the black levels will be corrected and you'll be able to enjoy the full contrast of your e-ink panel. Really, trying to read the Kindle Store Native Edition, it'll it'll feel like your eyes are drying out if you read it too long because the colors, the blacks are just not right. You really need proper black levels when reading manga, especially since the ink already has lower contrast than paper and LCD screens. And here's another example where I'm reading Tokyo Revengers. You can really see the faded black levels in the pants of the characters, and just like all the black lines are gray in the Kindle Store version, but the Kindle Comic Converted version is all pure black and correctly black leveled. And yeah, faded black levels are really bad. Uh, the next problem I had with Kindle Store Manga is sometimes it adds a margin at the bottom. You can see in the, on the left of blue block, you can see that huge white margin on the bottom. If you convert it using Kindle Comic Converter, it'll make sure to use all the available space on the page, top to bottom. And here's another really bad example where it added margins at the both the top and the bottom. And you can see them in the Kindle Web Reader as well. They're just added margins on the top and bottom. Maybe whoever quality assurance this only tested it on phones, and since phones are so tall you don't notice the top and bottom margins. Cool. Next one is talking about resolution. Uh, if you use Kindle Common Converter, you'll be able to use the full resolution of your Kindle device, especially a Kindle Scribe, because it'll be optimized for your device's specific resolution. Whereas on the Kindle Store, uh, it's likely that you'll have a manga that's formatted via Kindle Create, which for most manga will render at 300 dpi, which translates to 1500 by 2250. And if you, and it's much better to go for your device's native resolution. But yeah, cool. Uh, the next thing that we want to talk about is screen tones pop in the Kindle Store. The screen tones are not very popping in the Kindle. In the KCC version, the screen pop, the screen tones really do pop. Let's zoom in and compare it to a physical paper volume. So this is the physical paper volume. And this is the Kindle Store versus the paper volume. And this is the KCC version versus the paper volume. You can really see how the colors really pop in the KCC version. And this is also partly because of the black level correction stuff, but yeah. Uh, next one I want to talk about is online and two-page spreads. Uh, in some Kindle Store Mango, you'll see that they put the left page on the right and the right page on the left, and that's just wrong. The gutter. The gutter, the white space should be in the middle of the page because that's where the spine would be. And yeah, it's really weird when you see the right page on the left and the left page on the right. That's really bad. Cool. Now let's talk about rainbow effects on color e ink. If you have a Kindle or Kobo, you may have noticed rainbow effects in some of your manga. This is due to, well, I'll explain a little later, but this is due to interference with the color e ink filter array. Uh, there are several solutions to fix the rainbow effect. One is just a global blur. And obviously a global blur works, but it makes the image blurrier. But what KCC does is uses a really interesting algorithm that involves a Fourier transform to selectively remove frequencies that cause rainbows. Now what actually causes rainbows? Well, it's because the color ink just looks like this. It's just a bunch of green, blue, and red pixels. And if you have a pattern of pixels that happens to line up exactly on a specific color, then it'll show up as a solid piece of color. Uh, here's a more explicit example. You can see the pixels just happen to be aligned around that end to show a bunch of red. And yeah. Another cool feature is automatic black margin filling. Uh, on a normal Kindle manga, the margins are all white even if the page has black margins, so this will just fill in on the whole screen with black if it detects black margins in the original art. So all the leftover space is turned black and it just looks a lot more immersive if you read manga like this. And yeah, basically that's it. If you like this sort of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.